Hello out there to you. In this video, let's graph some cost curves using Google Sheets. So this is the problem that we have here. Uh, total fixed cost is 120. We need to fill in the rest of this chart. Here's what all of this stands for. Total fixed cost, total variable cost, total cost, average fixed cost, average variable cost, average total cost, and marginal cost. Okay, so Google Sheets, uh, oh, and then we have to do a graph of uh, all of the data and the various cost curves. So when it says cost curves, you wouldn't put the totals along with the averages on there. You do one or the other. So I'm just going to do the the, the averages. That's more commonly used, but we still need to get the data. So it says 120. Uh, we're just going to put that in. Google Sheets is pretty quick. You can just double click that little cross there and it'll do that for you. Uh, the total variable cost when we produce zero is zero. Um, we just know that, so we can just fill that in. And then the total cost here is 120 plus zero, or the total fixed cost plus the total variable cost equal the total cost, and we get that number there, okay? We're not gonna have values for the averages here because you'd be dividing by zero, and that would be an undefined number. We won't have a marginal cost because that's the difference between zero and one, or rather zero and negative one. So we wouldn't have that uh, value. There's no such thing as negative one output. So that would just be silly. So in these rows right here, we won't have anything, okay? Um, all right, so, so we have the average total cost and the formula for average total cost is to total, total cost divided by quantity. So we know the average and we know the quantity. So we can just write a formula. So we're gonna go, um, average total cost times, you hit the little star key, uh, times whatever the output level is, one, hit enter, and it says, uh, do you want to autofill that? Yes, we do. Okay, so it did that all the way. There's our total fixed cost. Or, yeah, sorry, our total cost. Now, our total cost is our total fixed cost plus our total variable cost, so we can write a formula that says this, minus total fixed cost, and that gives us uh, our total variable cost, and there we go. Okay. Uh, now, average fixed cost, we're going to go uh, the fixed cost, which is 120, it's always 120, divided by, so hit the slash key, if you're unfamiliar with spreadsheet formatting, and then we'll hit enter, and there's our total fixed cost. It'll decrease forever. And then our average variable cost, it's just going to be the variable cost divided by the quantity. And then our marginal cost is the difference in total cost or the difference in uh, variable cost divided by the difference in output. And in this particular one here, the output change is just one. So I guess we'll write it formula, or for, for, ah, write it out formally. Um, it would be the difference between this and this. Okay, so the difference there, and I'm gonna put that in parentheses because I'm going to divide that by the difference between here and here. Now, I, I know that that's one, and it's always going to be one, but in case you have one where it's not not one, that's that's how to do it. Okay, so there's our marginal cost. Okay, I'm just going to get that out of the way. Okay, now, remember, I don't want everything here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight everything and copy it, and I'm going to paste it down here but I want to paste the values only. So click that little uh, clipboard thing there, paste values only. Uh, now it got rid of all the formatting. So what I can do is I can make two copies of this. I can copy one down here and I can delete this, put these guys in here. Now typically, uh, we don't usually do average fixed cost, but I'm going to do it anyway. So just highlight everything. It's pretty smart. You're going to go up to chart, insert, chart, and then there it is. Um, you can change some things if you want, like the colors or, um, you know, the size of this thing, or you can change the scale if you want, all of that stuff. If you want to change the scale, just click... Uh, and 
wants to know the color. We want to know the units. Uh, you can change the scale. So if you want to change it to 100, um, I don't think we want to do that. Well, I looked around a little bit to see if I could find uh, more uh, values, and I can't in Google. Google Sheets, so it's probably a way to do it. I didn't find it. I don't know that we necessarily need it, but uh, it's okay. All right, and so there's that graph, and then we want to do just one more. What if you just had to do these guys? A little less common of a graph. There's this one. So we could do that one as well and if you wanted to change you know the name of it or whatever you could just double click on that and change the name but that's how to make your cost curve and cost charts using google sheets